Do you have obsessive compulsive disorder or think you do? Well then, this is the video for you. know which I'm guessing you didn't my name's Neve and welcome back to my channel so before we start today I just want to you know point out the elephant in the room yes I look absolutely butters today that is because I left all of my makeup at my friend's house so I've had to try and use what I can of my mum's um which if you've seen my video with her you'll see that we are not the same skin tone. I'm here with my mum. So, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Also, yes, my hair is wet. Also, yes, the sun is really in my eyes and I'm probably gonna have shadows on my face. And I'm sweating a lot. And we're just gonna have to deal with it. We are, because I have left this video way too late in the day to film. And that's what I've got to work with. Anyway, so before I get into the video, please remember to subscribe. It means a lot to me and follow my Instagram. I should have, by the time this video is up, posted a post on there about OCD. Um, so if you're interested in that, go and check that out. You can share it to people that maybe you want to know about OCD, that kind of thing. So that's why it's there so that, you know, you can share it around and also like I really want to know who is watching my videos because like I mean like for a start why like like what is possessing you to sit here for like a few minutes of your life and watch me like I don't I don't know but I want to know I want to know who you are so follow me on Instagram subscribe leave a comment down below um yeah that's that so the reason I'm making this video is because I previously made a video on, um... I should have cut this out, but just look how long it takes my brain to process this literal three-letter word. OCD. It was like a short film thing, and it got, like, 1.3k views on YouTube and, like, 700 on Instagram. And I know that's not a lot in, like, the grand scheme of, like, the internet at the minute, um, but to me, that is quite mad that is quite a lot and that means that I've reached that like over 2,000 people with that so that's kind of crazy and when I look at my analytics the most searched things for people to find my videos is about OCD so that to me said that people are trying to reach out for advice for help to feel less alone this isn't going to be a video like informing anyone about OCD like in great detail or anything I'm just gonna have a little chat with you about OCD and hopefully hopefully make you feel better less alone I don't know yeah so one of the main things I noticed on my comment section on that video was someone spoke about how they feel like they can't like tell their families and I've had people message me before like in the past like about their families like not believing them and stuff like that and that's something that I felt like I sort of experienced when I was younger. I was struggling with symptoms of OCD from when I was like 13. I looked up these symptoms and even at a younger age I knew that what I was struggling with was OCD. People seem to have the opinion that you can't be young and have OCD like oh you're just being dramatic or like you know you'll grow out of it like so no that I just I'm just here as a 20 year old adult who was a child to tell you that yeah you can have it <laughs> Which obviously isn't the most uplifting thing to hear or the lifting thing to have, but it's better than having it and feeling like you're invalid or feeling like you don't have it or like someone's not gonna believe you. It's a very, very real illness and you deserve to be 
taken seriously. And that's mainly what this video is about, like just being able to sit here in front of you and tell you that I have it and it's real and it's not fun and you know, it can get better. For me personally, it hasn't yet, but one of my friends had OCD for a very, very long time and he seemed to have it quite severely like I did. He now doesn't really deal with it that much and he is the one saying to me stuff like kind of help me out of it. And it is just nice to have someone there who understands what you're going through, especially with OCD. Like the stuff we do, or at least the stuff I do and the stuff like people that I know who have it do is weird. It is weird and anyone who doesn't might think that what you are doing is a little bit weird if you don't explain it. Like um, I remember I used to have a bad OCD with flicking the lights on and off and it got to the point where I used to have this thing with my OCD where like the embarrassment obviously it's not embarrassing but in my head that is what was going through it of it was able to override the compulsion then it got to the point where the like obsessions were so strong that I couldn't avoid doing the compulsion in public and people would ask like what are you doing and and people do it now like my friends i have to step a certain amount of times before i get into bed or before like i sit on something kind of thing and it's these things that like you people do start to notice and um to them it does look weird but it's not weird it makes complete sense in my head kind of we know that like it's not the most logical thing that like if I tap something a certain amount of times or say something specific like something really bad will happen kind of thing like that obviously doesn't sound like the most logical thing to happen but the overriding fear of it potentially being possible overrides the logic of it I guess at least for me I do a lot of like strange things because of my OCD so if anyone wants me to like do a video on them specifically like going through them then I might do because me and my friend um, who also has OCD when we both found out that we had it um, we realised that some of the things we did were either the exact same or so similar and sometimes they were so different and it's just weird to think that something that seems so random in your head and so illogical um to the majority of people can be the exact same thing going on in someone else's head which kind of makes you realize and understand that like the ocd is real and it is an illness and like it takes the pressure off for a bit so if anyone wants to see any of that stuff then um let me know either here or on instagram my dms are open obviously and obviously like the way ocd is portrayed in mainstream media is um make might make it difficult for some people to recognize that what they're going through is ocd because often it is shown as like excessive cleanliness which for some people it is i can't take this right now what do we live in a pawn shop Hey, hey, Jess, what, uh, where'd all this come from? I found the afghan underneath a dumpster outside an animal shelter, and I found the lamp underneath the afghan. I'm gonna assume that these are your spices jammed in here with my spices? Yep. I would really appreciate it if your non-Tahitian vanilla was not touching my Tahitian vanilla. I am not one of those people. Things have to be how I fight, feel is right in my head. That also bothers me as well, like I don't like things being in a mess. It does make my head feel very full up. But then my OCD, it's like two OCDs working against each other. It really is a roller coaster of this mental illness in it. Like, it's, it's not a funny, quirky character trait. It's a mental illness and it's not fun and it's really overbearing and makes my life very, very difficult sometimes because for me, it really does affect absolutely everything I do. It can be very extreme and whether it is extreme for you or not, your struggle is still valid. However, a good show I would recommend you watch if you have OCD is Pure. I think it was, I think it was a Channel 4 show, maybe, maybe BBC, I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix, but just search Pure TV show, OCD or whatever. And um, it's so, so funny. 
it's uplifting to watch but at the same time it made me absolutely bawl because I knew the pain that was going on in her head at certain points and to see that put in front of me was quite painful to watch whilst also being really eye-opening and comforting to know that I am normal like having OCD doesn't make you abnormal I just wanted to sort of put out there the idea that you are not alone and your struggles are valid and don't let anyone else tell you whether you do or do not have a mental illness obviously there's leeway with a professional which by the way I am not so that's a disclaimer that I should have put at the start but I haven't um I'm sorry for the lighting I don't really have eyes anyway like I've got small eyes so the fact that you probably can't see into them today is not really an issue have I got a Sula I definitely have and if you don't know what that is then watch the wild child you uncultured swine we've got ourselves a Sula sweaty upper lip alert <laughs> anyways follow me on Instagram comment down below or on the what you'd like to see next um subscribe please 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 because it makes me feel good about myself and it makes me know that I'm doing something right because obviously the only reason I made this video is looking at my analytics and like this video if you liked it so that I know and like it if you didn't like it because it's free and I want you to. Anyways, time to get off.